go down to open and then you're going to have all the options. So you got to go to new or go to info, new and get a blank document. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so new document. Um, Dan, you can see the screen. Okay. All right. So we're going to try out with this flyer here. Now, the there's lots of ways you can go about this, right? Lots of ways. So let's try a way here. So I'm going to go get a text box. So actually, do I need to? Well, let me see. Maybe there's a better option. Let's go to shapes. Let's go to shapes and let's see if we see a shape that might be, want to start from the bottom, the bottom where you have dance, drink and food. So I'm just going to grab this guy here. Uh, well, that's called, uh, let's see, what's that now? Insert shapes. It's called, what was it? Okay. Uh, flowchart document, that's what it's called. Flowchart document. So I'm going to click there. Now see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it around, sort of, right? So if you grab the bottom or the middle here, the middle control, and just drag it up, so now it gives you that, um, you know, it gets flipped. Where well, it gets flipped. Then again, I'm going to flip it again one more time. So I'm going to flip it kind of like mirror. So you see that? I'm just going to stretch it out now. Uh, let's just make it a bit narrow. So it kind of looks, like, where is it? It kind of looks like this shape, but let's see if I have any control over the, uh, let me see here. Just trying to see, all right. You see this option here that says edit points? So edit points gives you more control, right? Or gives you more, should I say, <laughs> gives you more edit points. Here's what edit points are. I'm gonna click edit points. Now you see how you have like some of this, squares that allow you to do stuff, right? So right here, I need I need a edit point over here. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to click. Let me see. If I click now, you see, when I click there, it allows me to grab that portion, right? And, you know, move it kind of have more control over it. Then I can click here. So every time you click, your mouse becomes like a crosshairs or something. I click here and now I can see, it gives me some control over this section, right? You see that? So I can move there. I can, so now I have like multiple control points. Um, so if, the, if, the, if you click away, the control, the edit points are gonna disappear. So you have to right click and go back to edit points. Then it brings it back, right? So you're looking for this, like a red border around and you know, like some of this black squares here. So right here, it gives me control over that portion. And right here, I can just move this up a little bit because I'm trying to make it look like what is here. Did you guys get that or did I go too fast? That's pretty cool. Now you make it look very simple. <laughs> Michelle, it's, 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 Michelle, it's a piece of cake. It's a no. piece of cake. It's, it's a piece of cake. This, this <laughs> took me 30 minutes. Longer. Oh, really? And I was sweating so bad because I did it. Uh, <laughs> out, yeah. Because to remove those uh, vestiges of the of that box, 
so that you will look nice like those yeah that was a yeah uh, yeah it took a, it took a while for me to uh, get them out yeah well i mean that's why we're all here we're trying to learn something so you made right? it you made it like a b c d it's not a b c d a b c d right <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, you know, we're trying to discover some tips and tricks here. So hopefully you get something that's useful for you. Yeah, better navigation. Um, so now uh, once you have that, then you can change the color, of course. Just go here and make it that color looks like orange, I think. Yep, orange. And then you can take out the border, this black border around it, this black border here. So you go here and take out, you go to shape outline and no outline. I think um, Elsa is here. Elsa, we don't see you. Elsa, are you there? Okay, well, when you're there, let's know. Okay. Yes, so, so I'm here. Okay, how are you? I'm late, sorry. Yeah, you're just a few I'm minutes late. Yeah. So we're, so we're trying to just, you know, start from scratch. Uh, we have mm. a flyer here. We want to recreate this flyer, right? Mm. We just found this flyer mm. online. And we want to just see, well, can we do this? So we're going through, uh, going through a few steps now. So let me just redo what I just did so you can see and do, do it on your own side, no problem. So let me take that out and do that again. Um, so if you go to insert, we have a lot of shapes here. So I think mm -hmm. it's, you know, kind of, it might be easier if you know what you're trying to do. For example, we're trying, this is what we're trying to do, right? This flyer, where is it? So it's easier to find a shape that kind of looks like what you need and then you can, you know, make some adjustments to it. All right, so mm -hmm. we go in here and we look for, I found something here on the flow chart called mm -hmm. flow chart documents. Mm -hmm. Something like this. So when you draw it on your screen, this is how it looks like. Yeah. <coughs> now if you, look, if you look at the flyer, it's like upside down, right? Mm -hmm. Upside down. So, uh, so uh, you know, you know what I think, right? This is recorded, Dan. Uh, everyone, this was recorded. So maybe you just want to watch and then do it later. If it's too much for you to do a little bit, then go back to your screen and go back and forth from Zoom. So maybe you can just watch, ask questions, try to absorb it, you know, visually, and then after the class, you can rewatch it and try to rebuild it by yourself. Which work? What, what, what works? You sure what works? Oh, what? Oh, I can watch it again on Zoom. That's what okay, I've been so, doing. Okay, fine. All right. So, because if you miss anything now, again, I'm trying to build it yourself. So, we can just, so I can just keep going on and we can try to accomplish as much as possible. And then, you know, you can just watch the demonstration and rebuild it. Yeah. All right, so you, you grab that shape here, and now you ha it's, up, it's kind of upside down. So if you grab the middle control here and drag it up, drag it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you drag it up to kind of spin it around. Mm -hmm. Now you see, it looks like, again, it's, it's left to right because you want it to look like this shape. So again, you grab this control and you drag it uh, you got to grab and drag it this way, right? Just drag. And now it looks a little wow. bit closer to the shape, to that, uh, to that flyer, just a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's still not perfect. So it's still not perfect yet. So you have to right click on this object here and go to edit points. Mm -hmm. so when you go to edit points, edit points gives you more uh, control like more points here's what i mean so i want to make the right side taller so i got to click here you see that when i click uh 
when I click, you see how the the shape of the mouse it changes to like a different a different symbol sort of right if you move your mouse away it's the regular mouse you bring it here it changes so i click here now when i click there you see it gives me control here so see what i can do to that side let me zoom out of this so you see i can control that side you see i can move that shape i can move that shape right you see that i can even bring it down if i want right so you have a lot of control by using the edit points to do a lot of stuff to that shape right so let me undo that so all i want to do is uh i just want to then let me add on i'm just going to use my edit points here and bring this part down if i bring this part down just try to control that I can bring this down a little bit right so you have a lot of control there something you can do So, you know, it might look a bit closer to what you're trying to do. I can bring this down a little bit more. So, your, you know, your, your hands have to be steady and it's a good idea to have an actual mouse, right? Okay, so then I can bring this bottom part up here. No, I don't need to do that. Um, I'm good with that. All right, so maybe it looks a little bit more like what we're trying to do. Oh, this part here is, if you lose the edit points, just right click again and go back to edit points. Then you can make some, you know, just adjust it as much as you need to. Like that. Uh, I need to add some, just a better flow here. All right, so we can just leave it uh, that way for now. I mean, we can always definitely tweak it a little bit more. If I, if I wanted to, I can go back and add another edit point over here, right here. So I have, you know, maybe allows me to do a little bit more there, something like that. So you can add as many edit points as you need to make it, you know, as perfect as possible. Okay. And then when you do that, then you change the color, you double click, you go to shape field, grab your orange color. And then you take out the shape outline. And now it's kind of looking, you know, like what we have at the bottom here, right? Okay, so we keep going. Now I want to add um, dance, drink, food. So of course, when you're trying to add, um, you know, text and stuff, like we said, you got to use uh text boxes so you draw a text box and dance let's just do one at a time so dance kind of bold or maybe that's a bit too much bring it down a little bit all right so just reduce this here reduce the box the size of the box now that's going to be here. So Elsa, uh, we need to make this box transparent, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we do? Um, Remember? Transparency, you, you, you take the, the box out. You take the, you click and eliminate the shape, the box. Yeah, how do you do that? What do we do? What should we click on? right side of your mouse um no sorry you go to the shape uh, shape outline you eliminate the outline the outline it's a fill yeah no fill yes all right so no fill take out the fill and um so before you take out the outline you know we can just use the same thing for dance drink food mm-hmm all right, so I'm just going to 
I'm just going to copy, you know, just duplicate that. So copy that and paste it. And then we use it for drink and food. So you just got to be able to grab it, you know, go here, move it, and then edit. And then go back here, copy again, paste, and we use that. So, you know, once you, Michelle, once you, you know this basic steps, you just got to repeat them, you know, repeat, 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 repeat. You know, there are not many new things. There are just a few tools, but once you get those tools, you know, it's like, I mean, it's like when you cook, right? I mean, it's the same process, different ingredients, the same, you know, you grab the stove, you grab the pot, you grab the salt, you grab the, you know, and just mix it, just the same basic tools. Yeah, I've been cooking uh, my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, well, well, yeah. yeah, well, I'll give you that, yeah. Okay, so now... Yep. The, all right. When you when you did this, you copied um, from dance, right? You copied it there and then yeah. pasted it here, up here, right? You copied it. Then yeah, I copied it. it. When I copied it, it kind of it kind of went up to the top. Okay. I just I just have to drag it. I just have to drag it down. No, 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 no. I know. You know no, I know. But when you when you wanted to recreate it. Um, the dance and then you so you just said copy and then pasted it up you here copy, right you copy oh one second you copied it from there what right what am i doing one second i keep okay yeah so i copied it from here I copy from here. Yeah, once, copy. Once I get the copy, then I just drag it down. I place it there. Then I edit then the new one. Okay. So uh, dance, drink, and food. So now, now remember that all these items are kind of layers. They're kind of like on top of each other, right? So you have to move things out of the way to get to the one behind it. So you're going to do a lot of trying to click to find, you know, to try to grab a handle of those items, right? Because they're kind of layered. So you're trying to move things out of the way to get to what you need to get to, right? So it's a lot of clicking around to say, well, I want to grab a hold of dance. I want to grab a hold of drink so I can edit or grab a hold of the last one so I can make that food, right? So trying to put everything into position it may not be so easy, but you just click around and you get, you know, you, you get it to work. All right, so you better seem to reduce it a little bit. That's too small. Maybe uh, 42. Okay, 42, 42, and 42 for dance. All right, so you just grab the box, you push it up just to move it close. Okay, grab this one here. Yeah, so so using your mouse, using your key, your arrow keys or your keyboard, right? You move everything back and forth. All right, then we need, um, we need this like a pipe or straight line. So that's a, just a, that's just a shape also. So you can just go grab a shape, grab a, like a rectangle, draw a line like right there. And it's just a, just make that black and you know, you sh you can, that should be done. You can just do that very quickly and take out the outline and you should be good with that. So you just grab that, place that, let's see, like right here. Welcome, Shamila. Now we can really start. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. I told the class, we can't start. We can't start. Shamila is not here. 
Yeah, yeah that's like working. working. <laughs> I, I got a quick question. Yeah, so we're trying to we're trying to create this flyer just to you know show some more possibilities of what we can do in Word. Okay, uh, just give you guys more tools. So just to go over it one more time, uh, this orange part with the wavy uh, shape. That's basically here, this one, uh, it's what you call this edit one. point, right? <sighs> edit point. When you click edit point, it gives you, like you can create some of this extra handles that you can move around freely, okay? And in fact, to start, we found a shape that looked kind of close to what we were trying to get. So we went insert, uh, shapes and we found a shape here that kind of looks like what we're trying to get. So when we started, it was the shape was like that, right? Which kind of looks upside down. And then we just basically grab uh, this handle here, you push it up, gives you some more, you know, you kind of close, then you grab the handle to the left side and you drag it to the right side. Now it looks like kind of what, like what you need. Then you right click and do the edit points. And now you can click to add more points. And when you add the points, you see what happens. You can shape that stuff almost in any direction. It gives you a lot of flexibility. And you can do it to all the sides actually, if you wanted to do that. So that's how we got to that point. So uh, what I said to the class is, let's just watch the demonstration. You can, so when you go off back by yourself, you can recreate everything is on the lecture. So this is the the black line here. So we need two of those lines. I'm just going to copy and paste that. It always ends up at the at the top left when you copy, right? And paste. So very annoying. You just got to bring it back down. Um, and just kind of position it there somehow. All right, so we need the other guys, DJ, Superstar, blah, 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 somebody, no name, Disco. So same thing, we can use one of these boxes as a copy and paste. All right, copy that, and then just use that to recreate the four, you know, whatever we need over there. So just to reduce that size. Can, can you show me that line one more time? Where I'll say that again. Off? Hello? Can you say that again? Where did you get that line from? Do I, do I use the black Sharpie and draw it or did you insert it from a shape? Yeah, this, this line here. Yeah. Yeah, this line that shapes. So you go to insert, you go to shapes and you can literally grab any shape here. So the shape we uh, grabbed was a rectangle and you can, you know, make it thin, okay. fat, tall, short, you know, whatever you want to do and then just change the color. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, so this is the dance. We're just going to use that for the guys in the middle. So dance becomes DJ, DJ somebody, superstar actually. You know, let me see if I can just kind of cheat and put everything in there. There's a little problem with that because the spacing, you know, it's going to be hard to control the spacing if I type everything in one box, right? So sometimes you just got to go the long way so you can get what you're trying to do. So I'm going to do one at a time. So I do that. Looks like I got to move this line a little bit here. So make sure that when you're trying to, you know, edit an item, you click, make sure you're clicking to select that particular item. Like if I click the wrong thing, then I click the background. What I want is this DJ Superstar box. So you click that, then you copy and paste it. Then you drag it back down. You grab. Like I said, sometimes it ends up at the top left. You just got to take it back down here. Let me just do that four times so I can, you know, have everything I need. All right, got everything I need there. All right, 
So let me just rearrange them. So, you know, when you have them in individual boxes, then it's easier to um, control the spacing, right? Oops. All right, so that is right there. And that is right there. So DJ somebody. Oops. Um, DJ no name. And DISCO. All right, now you notice that DJ somebody is bold, bolded. So we just grab. Yeah, so the challenge you have when you have so many of these items is trying to get to the particular one you want. So what I want is DJ somebody. Let me just see. Yeah. And then you go to the bold option here and actually it's already bold. I think maybe we needed like a different typeface to make it bolder. Um, so let's see. Yeah, go to quizzes box. Oh. Actually, I think I know what I did. I should take, I should remove the bold in the first place. Yep, take out the bold for all the other guys. Yeah, take out the bold and then leave the DJ somebody as bold. All right. Okay, moving along. So uh, now, Shamilo, how do we? We need to get rid of all the outlines, right? Because it's kind of ugly. So. How do we get rid of the, all these outlines? You click on the line itself and right click. Right click. Yep, outline. Click on outline and then no outline. All right, so no outline. Okay. But where it says dance, drink, and food, how did you get that? Did you do text boxes for that too? Same Sorry for the loud background. Same as I did for this guy, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, same thing. They're all individual items. You see that? So, same thing. Um, no outline. Then one more here. Right click. No outline. Yeah, so same thing. Um, if you're more adventurous, you can actually, if you're trying to select all the boxes at once, it's kind of tough, but you click the first one, hold down the control key, grab the second one here, grab the third one here, the fourth one here. Oh, okay. I took the, so I clicked, the, I clicked the background. I don't need the, so, you know, it's very stressful. So just do one at a time, you know, right click, you no know, outline. Yeah. No outline. No outline. And finally, yeah. Alex, how does it look? Are we looking are we looking good? Yeah, that that's it. That's the problem I had like five years ago. But I had to do it like five years ago. Yeah, I had to do it one by one to get yeah. the uh those lines are uh, aside lines out. So with, yeah. like the going to the lines, uh, right clicking it, that's yeah. a new one now, yeah. It's so you notice this. that before you take out the outlines, try to be as close to the end of that particular part as possible, because once you take them out, it's, you can still get them back, but you have to click around to find the particular outline. Like if I want to move this guy for some reason, right? It's not so clear, you know, so you have to click in there and then, you know, so. So right now the outline is there, it's just that it's no longer, you know, with, with a, the color. So, yeah, exactly. But, you know, you can still control that item there. All right, so one more, we need this kind of paragraph or whatever you have here. So I'm just gonna use this again, copy that, paste, and I use this here. So we need some text. Let me just go grab some random text. 
uh, from wherever. I can just use this one here. I just paste it here. All right, so I'm just going to copy paste it there and then just. All right, so now it has to be a much bigger box. And the text is not so. So let's see, you've got to reduce the text here. So just copy, you know, copy paste number of times. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Right, just paste a bunch of times until it looks like what you're trying to do. All right, that should be fine. So we have to put that down here. Maybe just make it a little bit smaller still. All right. So bring it down here. And we can just cut it off here. Take out all this part. Take out this part here. And then reduce the box size of the box, the length of the box, something like that, right, something like that, and now we need um, they're like two bullets here or something, let's see, visit and contact, all right, so we need, again, back to shapes. So just grab a square here, one here. It's gonna be black. And then, again, we use one of this guys here. Oh, so I'm just gonna copy. Now, uh, Michelle, I gotta say something here. If you're trying to, if you're trying to copy, for example, this DJ Superstar, if you're clicking inside and you can see, you gotta click on the edge of it. Because if you click inside and try to copy, it's going to copy the text. What you want to do is copy the whole item, not the text. Okay. Okay. So you got to click on the on the you know on the box. Exactly. So click on the box, right click, copy, and then paste that down. So now you have what you need. Because you need those, you need the controls around it. I got to make this um, just reduce the size there. That says visit, visit. All right, so make that small. And then you bring that down here. Maybe make it down, okay. And grab your, now, now this is, now when, is, when the item is so, so, so tiny, it's kind of hard to, so you just gotta, you know, take your time with that. All right, later. Okay. So you just got to grab that gently there. Yeah. Click here, move it there. Sometimes you have to zoom in real close so you can, you know, get a good grip. All right, so that's fine. So you just need two two of that. I'm just going to duplicate visit there and use that for contacts. I've got to make that wider. All right. So contacts. Click on visit. Yeah. Now it's getting. All right. So see what's going on here, right? So I'm trying to get to this black box here, but because the visit is kind of overlapping, I I need to move it out of the way temporarily, right? So I'm just going to get out of the way, grab this guy, copy it, page, take that back down. Yeah, this is where you start getting, like, you know. <laughs> Irritated? I said, this is the part where you'll start getting really frustrated, like, okay, everything just, 
you start walking so smoothly. Yeah. Right. So, so here's what I pasted all the way here. Now I've got to take it down here, you know, click here, then bring it back here. And then I got to put it in position. So, you know, zooming in, you know, will help. So once I position that, I can grab the visit and take it back up here. Maybe space it out, uh, maybe just push it up. Well, it's okay. I'm not trying to be perfect. You guys get the idea. <laughs> so I'm done with that part. So, all right, so it kind of looks okay. Maybe I can make this box a little bit, you know, just bring it in a little bit. All right, that should be okay. At least that should be like a B plus, right, so far. Okay. So we got the stars, right? So let's just find some stars. We're gonna find some stars in here, definitely. Uh, I think it's more like this one. It's a star seven points. So let's try the star seven points. No, that works. It just things like a things like a black, right? It's a black color. Just make it small. And then you just need three of that, right? So take out the outline. And then just duplicate it. Paste, paste three times. Make it small, size a little bit smaller. And let's see what we got. What do you guys think so far? Good. And you did that so quickly. Yeah, where did you get the star from? Shapes. Uh, it's all in shapes. Insert shapes. Okay. All right. Insert shape. You have literally every know, shape you could ever desire. All right, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Say it again. I, I was looking under pictures. I was going to download a picture of the star, but I, I didn't see one in here. All right, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, shapes. Okay, so uh, I think I'm just gonna move this line here just a little bit out of the way, okay? All right, so we have the bottom part. Um, what part should we do next? The back to school cloud, like a, you know, that's actually an easy part because we have a shape for that, just that. So let's do the background that some kind of a, yeah, <laughs> background there. Oh, where is it at? So let's see what that background looks like. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of things in that background. So I'm not going to be that detailed, but try to be as close. So let's see. So let's say we get a picture here, online pictures. And let's say, um, What's that going to be now? Let's say blue wallpaper, right? Mm. How about that? I just, it just kind of came to my mind now. Look at that. You see? The wallpaper will be close. So let's use, and yeah, this will be fine. I'm going to grab this one here. Mm-mm. Yeah, let's use that. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's see. Now, all right, so remember, uh, it has to, because right now, I didn't put it in the box, so it's, it's not going to move. I'm trying to move it into place. It's not going to move. So I need to put it in a box, in the text box. All right, so I'm going to delete that get my text box first. Uh, let me just do my text box properly here because text box is going to be behind this, behind here, be all the way up here. All right, now I'm going to insert that picture into the box. All right, Elsa, so go to insert here, uh, blue wallpaper again.
and then okay let's see maybe you have other options here that one could look a little bit <laughs> too um dark this looks interesting oh how about this one yeah this is dark exactly it's kind of scary <laughs> mm -hmm. let's try this one all right so with this one i can fill the box you see and i have more control so i can stretch it uh, and I have more control because I have a text box. Just, okay, well, all right. I just messed that up. So I'm going to be able to grab my text box here. So you see, I can move it around because now it's in a text box. It's easier to, to move around. All right, so put it back in position. And now I have to right click and send it to the back because it has to be behind. So right click and say send behind text. The night goes behind, you see that? I just need to make my text box a bit wider so that it matches the width of the yellow bottom part. All right, so click here, make that a little bit wider. So you notice that, see what I'm doing there? So when you send behind, you have to make sure that you, you click the text box. And not the yes. picture itself, right? The picture is not going to do anything. If you click in the picture, it doesn't even give you the options. Right? If you click okay. the picture, Michelle, you don't even see the options because it's not behind. It's like, it, it's not a factor. It's in the text box. So the text box is uh, where we want to move oh, okay. uh, all the way to the back. Yeah, so, so click over here. I'm trying to grab a hold of the text book. No, that's not a text box. <clears throat> okay, that's not, that's not a text box. All right, so drag it here. There you go. It's, it's properly aligned. That's what I'm trying to do. So you could always get a, you know, you could always get a, a close-up matching background, but no need to waste time there. So now we just got to get rid of the outline on the box. Make sure you click, 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 and get it. Uh, no outline. Hold on. And get again. Then I've, I've got the picture here. I just don't. When I right click, it's not let me get. I don't know where to find that. I have a different. I think I have it differently. What do I pick? Edit all text, size, and position. I'm trying to figure out how to get that picture behind all, everything I wrote. So. When you click, make sure the picture is in a text box, first of all. Yep, it is. Okay. Once you do that, now you click on the text box, try to grab a hold of the text box. It's, it's always a bit tough to find the text box. Um, so you got to click around. Okay, that's text box. Then you right click on it. It's going to tell you, you know, send to behind text or something. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to read yours at the same time as read mine. Send behind text. So go to send to back. I bring, send behind bring text. them back, but they're not highlighted. Like so, so, so you're probably clicking on the picture inside the box. If you click the picture inside the box, it doesn't have those options. See, see that it doesn't have those options. So it's got to be on the box itself because the box is the container. Okay. All, All right. right. I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, so we have that so far. All right, let's move on. Let's get the uh, back to school cloud. So we have a shape that looks just like that. If you go to shapes, you can see down here, call out, they're called, call out. So let's see this guy here. Yeah, that kind of works. Just got to kind of spin it, use the spinner to kind of spin it. Kind of close. I don't have to be exactly what it is there, but it's kind of close, which should be fine. Actually, if I do the same thing and just spin it around, maybe it'll give me close closer to, and then change the color, which is be white. Yeah, that's close. I can live with that. 
and I just bring it down, make it a bit bigger. Or if you're, you know, if you're a purist like me, you might want to get something that looks more perfect, but I'm not gonna, there's some here like this one, but this has no, um, you know, so let's stick with the one we found. All right, so back to school. Now that looks like some fancy uh, text. So let's grab one of these guys and use it as a template paste and then let's look for those uh, fancy kid, kid, kid kind of writing. Uh, how about that dance back? Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, that looks close. Yeah, so we can use that, we can just kind of, you can use that uh, spinner, just kind of spin around a little bit. Now remember that it always has a back, okay, there's no background here because we took out the background already. So back, copy, paste, and that's for back to TO. Make that a bit smaller and just put that into place here. Reduce the size. And then uh, school, copy that again, paste. That'll be for school. Then you have to uh, expand this box, make it bigger. And then kind of, you know, spin it around. Use your arrow keys on your keyboard. Spin it around a little bit more. All right, back to school. Okay, and then we have this, um, like, what should I call it now? Uh, what do you call this, like a splash? Splash symbols? So maybe we can find a shape that looks like splashes here. Uh, there's something here. Uh, you know, I'm gonna use something different. I'm gonna use like um, lightning bolts. I'm gonna use lightning bolts. I'm just going to make it a different color, you know, just to add some style to it. So I can use that here. And then copy, paste, so make that kind of like double that here. And grab that again, copy, paste again. Bring it down here and just spin it around so it looks in a different direction. Copy, paste, put it down here. I have two. And I need one more. Copy, paste. Bring it over here, bring it around again, drag, and copy, paste, and now I have two of them. So, maybe this one needs to be kind of shake, yeah, uh, spawn around a little bit. And then, so I can take out the outline, uh, no outline, right click. No outline, right click here, no outline, right click here, no outline. It's it's a, it's a it's it's patient work, you know. It's patient work. But this could be something, you know, somebody's uh walks out of school as an administrator and you need to do a, a flyer, you know, return to school. So this could be an important project. Okay, so yeah, I'm fine with that. And then we have the last, well, we have this party part, so we need a, like a ribbon or something, right? So let's see, go back here, shapes. Uh, what is close? Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's grab a, just a, let's just grab a, a square. Make it red, 
Now let's try out using the edit points. Maybe we can make it look like this guy here. So right click edit point. Now I can click in here. See that? Make it an edit point. Click over here. Make it an edit point on the left side. Drag it in. Look at that. And then I can make it a bit wiggly on the top, top part of it. Edit points like up here. See that? Just make it a little bit wiggly. And down here. Right? I think that works. And I spin it around a little bit, put it here. So it has that Sesame Street effect. <laughs> Bring it down here. And now we have to write party. So I'm going to use one of this text, you know, just like we have before, copy, paste, and then use this uh, E A R T Y. You have to expand the box because it's small. I think it's a different font size, a font type. So let's go see a different font type here. Uh, party, party. How about, that's weird. We have a lot of text options here, so. Yeah, how about this one here? Maybe make it white. What the fuck? No, not this, not the, it's the text I want to change, not the, um, go to home, go here, make it white. Yep. I don't know what you guys think, but I don't know. Nah, it's not so legible. Let's change it. Keep this crow. Maybe that works. Reduce the size. Should be more kid friendly or you know more school friendly. I think there's a, there's one I saw here. Okay. Are we done? No. Are we done yet? Oh, we have to, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, maybe that's the date, right? 110? Okay, so let's do that. The 110, like maybe first of, no, January 10th, back to school. So we got, we got a, a couple more shapes there. So like a circle, triangle, circle. Oh, well. Yeah, it's kind of like a half circle. All right. Oh. Yeah, so you can see that it's cut off on the on the edge. So we're going to do that too. So, uh, well, it's a good question. How can we cut that off? So let's see. Maybe the edit point can can do the do the trick. I don't know. I'm not sure. But let's right click edit point. Now, if we click here. Actually, I'm not entirely sure how to cut it into half. So let's try it again. Or maybe we we'll, we we'll find something here that's already that half. Oh, right here. There's something here called a uh, cord. All right. So we just go to spin around. Uh, maybe edit points will help. To adjust it a little bit. Okay, and then we can sort of drag it. Okay, and then spin around. This might not be so perfect, but able to get the job done somehow. I mean, you can always be as you know precise as you want. I'm just kind of flying through just to give us an idea of different options. If you go back to edit points, right click, you can probably use that to stretch stretch stuff out here. No, that's good. You bend it a little bit here. All 
All right, I'm just going to leave it up the way it is right now so we can move on. Okay, so it's 110, says so the, uh, the color. Orange, take all the outline. And then use, you can just copy and paste your text that you had here. Copy, paste. And take it up there. So there's a lot of copy and paste to move things into place. So you might have to do that. So one, one, ten. Or we can decide ours is going to be two ten. Doesn't matter. When you're in control, you can do whatever you want, right? All right. So the color of the text is black. If you say a little bit, two ten. Okay, I don't mind the shape, right? It looks interesting. No, what I do, the shape here. Just have to spring it around a little bit to get it to align out there. You zoom in. Okay. All right. So Elsa, what's the grade? I think is that it's like excellent. A C, is, that a C, is it a C minus, a C plus? A plus, A plus, A plus. Oh, an A plus? Yes. Wow. Excellent. Okay. I've got to take out the outline for this one, and we should be all set, I think, for the, uh, yeah, right there, outline, no outline. Okay.